UCR for the second day preaching God's word and we're getting much better response. People are much quieter, they're listening, they're asking good questions. And so hopefully we can finally get them, you know, to a stage five where they're just quiet and reasoning with us and not just talking about, uh, you know, the crazy things. And preach God's word to you, sir. I appreciate freedom of speech here in this wonderful country. Amen. Amen. Uh, Take one for each of your friends. <laughs> These are condoms. You figure that out, blue is Why are you? Oh, he opened it. Oh, he opened the one. Is that candy? No. Have a good day. And if you're using a condom, you're under condemnation. <laughs> That's what happens, students. You think condoms are aren't gonna save you students on the day of judgment. Condoms aren't gonna save you from a, if you have ever had sex outside of marriage, you have an STD called sexually transmitted damnation. So yes, this is perversion. One out of four college students have an STD students. You are very perverted. So yes, then what's the point? <laughs> what's the point? What's the, the point, point of your life is to live for Jesus Christ. Oh you, you should respect, love, and not judge others regardless of their race, gender, or religion. <laughs> Who here believes sorority girls are not whores? <laughs> Most of them are, not all no, of them. No, doesn't matter. You said, you said there's no such thing as Respect. a Christian sporty girl. It's Who on your thinks? Instagram. Well, we're talking about whores. You shouldn't that judge that others. The Bible said says, no the Quran says, they all say, do not judge, lest you be judged. All re religions share this in common, not to judge. And it's not our fault. <laughs> everyone sins. We this know is everyone sins. incorrect. He does not represent no, Christianity. It doesn't matter I do. what I represent. I represent love, humans. Everyone should be treated with respect. Now, what religion do you believe in? It doesn't matter. Of course, it doesn't it matter does. to you because you, you could be held judge on. what my religion should because be. Because you might be going to hell, and I want you to save you. I, I want agree, you to take you. But with still, you should treat others with love. You should not be doing this. You are I should. I want them to go to heaven. Hate. You're telling other people that they are whores when they're not. Now if let me you ask agree you, with me, come stand are by this some group. of these women whores on this campus? And yes, some of the women on this campus are whores. Are some of these women back. are getting down and dirty. So yes, I'm concerned about you. Yes. I'm not lonely, I got Jesus Christ. I walk with Jesus Christ. I'm a Christian. This is actually my campus. The Bible says the earth is the Lord and all who dwell therein. So this is God's property. And many of you, you're trespassing right now. You're not honoring God. Get up our freaking campus. You don't go here. If you don't, I teach here. Everyone, you teach here? Wait, what do you teach? Yes. We Even can agree to disagree. We can have opposite opinions. That's okay. You can you can be wrong if you want to. Doesn't matter. Get back in your place. I do not obey the commands of a man. I obey the commands of my Lord Jesus Christ. You your your God is Satan. Your God is Satan. You don't know the God of the Bible. I do not. You do not respect the God of the Bible as you say that you are sexist and you hate gays and you hate people of different colors. No, I don't. I love them all. I was here on Monday when you said that you did not love any of those people. You said you hated gays. So did radical reverend brother Michael or whatever his name is. No, students, I love gays, but I not gays. in a gay way. Okay. I love gays the way that my Lord and Savior would love gays. Yes, tell them the truth that they can be a homo no mo. That there's hope for them. There's deliverance for them. And that's what we're here to tell you.
That's the true Jesus. See, true love warns of judgment. And we're here warning you. You're not in hell yet. You're not judged by God yet. We're all going to hell and we're going to see you there. No, no, we're not all going to hell. Hey, well, I know I'm not good. Brother Mc... <laughs> Will not receive the kingdom of God. Okay, you have. I have sinned too. But have you stopped your sinning? I mean, have you stopped your sinning, Brother Mikhail? Of course I did. Now, have you and stopped you masturbating? <laughs> he stopped masturbating. That means there's hope for you, students. You can stop. Why were you picking up condoms? Oh. Yeah. Why you say Oh, we're totally winning. Now, Psalm 2 for uh, more on the subject. It talks about this. Why do the heathens rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel against the, against the anointed, saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their courts from, low, from amongst us. He that sitteth in heaven shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. So that's what I'm saying. Well, if you would become a Christian, uh, you would become a sister in Christ, but right now you're an enemy of God. 